Okay, what if the question is asking us x to the 2k plus 1 power times x to the k power? What should we do in this case? Well, we have to first make sure if they have the same base or not. They do. They both have the x for the base. And then we have to remember the base will stay the same when we are trying to work out a new power. So let's just write down the x first. And then in the multiplication situation, what we do with the power is that we are going to add the powers up together. So I'm just going to write down the 2k plus 1. This is the power for the first term. And then we'll add it with the power for the second term, which is just the k. And you see that I put it in the parentheses, but in the parentheses doesn't really matter. This is the same as 2k plus 1 and then plus k. The only thing that we have to work out is the 2k plus k. And that will give us 3k. And we also have the plus 1 right here. So here, x to the 3k plus 1 power, this is the result. When we have x to the 2k plus 1 times x to the k power, this is it.